back, gainers, to another super crazy, fantastic episode of Comic Games! <laughs> if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Spire Gwen, Princess, her royal highness, doing that princess wave, a bow down, or you're gonna get webbed. You won't unless, like it. Unless you want to get webbed. Unless you want to get webbed. I bet there's some people who want to get webbed. Either way, if you do or don't, <laughs> still bow down. Alright, guys, so... Today is Wednesday, and what we've been doing for a while on Wednesdays is what, Zach? Top five covers. Top five. And uh, if you can guess, what are we, I mean... What are we doing today? What's going to be our top five? So so we let, uh, you know, a lot of times we're going off what the community picks, sometimes what we pick, and today is a a lady's choice. This is definitely a lady's choice. Uh, Zach picked... Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah. Princess picked Spider-Gwen covers, so we're going to be rolling out... The Comic Games Top 5 Spider-Gwen covers uh, what our choice. And we all, like, you know, we basically go through and pick out our, our five between us and see which one matches up for the best one. So before we get into that, we also have a couple things we're going to open. Uh, we have a What Not Buy that Princess picked up uh, from Antihero. And Zach's got uh, a little bit of craziness going on. So something he picked up on eBay that he's a little upset came in this package. And we're going to see if it was a mistake or not. Yeah, it came in a... The yellow envelope, or manila. The dreaded yellow envelope. Is it technically uh, manila? manila? Manila. I hate that word. Manila. I'm like, wait, what's manila? Manila flavored. They got make some nice wafers. Oh, wafer color. <laughs> okay, All right. whatever. All right, but before we get into any cookies, we're going to get into a beer. Yeah. So it was, it was the last time, is this the first time you're drinking beers in a while, or no? Uh, I've been taking it real easy, guys. i got to watch my health. It's... I don't know. It's going guess, downhill quick. It going went downhill. I mean, I had a couple of nights where I like to spend way <laughs> too much after having a little drunk and fell asleep on the couch. And, you know, just got to dial it back a little bit. I think you but, fell asleep in the backyard. That's happened too. <laughs> yeah, too far. But I'm going to have a beer here and there. Modelo too, Especial. It's a very special build. Yeah, Modelo. So what's it say on the front there? Diablos de Muertes? I don't know. It's in Spanish. I can't say Spanish. Celebranos? Mount Diablos? De oh, whatever. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It has the Day a little, of the Dead? It has a little candy skull, if you can see that. It's really cool. Very authentic. Very cool. I like it. How cool? Oh, it's so cool. It's so delicious. It is a good beer. Solid beer. Got Very some good cool, flavor. Guys. All right, guys. Let's get into those books. Okay. So, like I said, we're doing our top five Spider-Gwen covers. Like I said, uh... Basically, the five of us pick out our own top five, and then we compare notes and see what makes the list. So what's going to be like our number one would be something that's going to be on all three of our lists. And this is, you know, from our point of view, uh, we love to hear your guys' point of view, what your guys' top five would be. There's a lot of good Spider-Gwen covers, you know, kind of, um, you know, there's a lot that look the same. And then there's some really standout ones, I think, that kind of change things a little bit, change uh, the game. And there's a lot of artists that are kind of known for their Spider-Gwen covers. We might, like... Take one or two from them, but we're not trying to like, oh, we're not trying to grab like all five J. Scott Campbell covers. Uh, absolutely. It wouldn't, be, be, a, wouldn't be one of our lists that didn't have J. Scott Campbell. But let's get into it. Let's start out. Not all J. Scott Campbell. What no, I'm saying is. Of course not. We can't have, let's say it's like the best one's going to be this, 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 but we can't be all the same. All right. So uh, number, this is going to be number five. And uh, this is something we were kind of like. We need something that kind of rounds out all the average Spider-Gwen covers. It's like kind of like the best of like the, the average ones. And this is definitely the best average. Plus it has a, some good significant value. But this is Spider-Gwen number one. Um, this is the premiere solo series from 2015. Uh, just really cool cover. It's, it's done by Robbie Rodriguez. And it kind of gives you a great like into the Spider-Verse vibe, I feel like. What do you think, Zach? Yeah, it's a very kind of retro kind of look to it. And I like it. A little, little bit artsy, a little too artsy, not enough, like... Not enough fartsy? Substance. <laughs> in the, you know, the, you, you know what I mean. Not enough substance. It's not a raised up cover, if you guys know what I'm, know what I'm saying. They still make those anymore? I don't think so. <laughs> but I, I like the idea, because then you're like... You look at you can feel the raisedness. You can look at the book. You can feel it. You can feel the artwork. It's kind of cool. That's, That's just me. That's That's true. Cool. But yeah, definitely a good, definitely a good book. Good way to start it out. Like I said, there's a lot of good Spider Gwen covers, but uh, it's a good one to start out. Okay, so we're going in. Um, we've got number four is right here, and this one's really cool. And we don't actually have all these this time. Sometimes we have all the ones on the list. Sometimes we don't. Um, number four is going to be Gwen Stacy. Number two, and then which one is this from Zach? Is that 
Uh, that should be the second series, or no, yes, the so second series of Gwen Stacy. And it's an in hook lead, right? Yeah. In a hook lead. Frankie's and Comics exclusive. It's also, you can only get this at a convention, from what I've understood. Mm. It's a convention exclusive. Really, really cool. And I think there's one with the mask and one without the mask, right? And then the one without the mask is the rare one. Yes, absolutely. I don't know how limited it is, but it's probably a thousand or less. And it kind of homages this other one that you guys, I'm probably going to show it right here. That, like, it's a rain version, a little bit more detail, a little bit more... I think oh, there's two versions of that? There's another version that kind of... Um, this kind of homages this one. Oh, as okay. As you can see. Okay. I can show you guys later. I'm pretty sure you already seen it. It was probably. on my list. Yeah, probably. Okay. But good one. Good one. All right. So, next up is our number three. And we don't have this one, so... There's the book uh, right there. So, this is Spider-Gwen number one, the one in 100. The Adam Hughes cover... Uh, also from 2015. So just, I mean, it's so, it's actually really cool because it's so different than a lot of the other Spider-Gwen covers you would think of. She looks more like Gwen Stacy, but then you got, it's part of the Spider-Gwen title with like the really cool part on the side where you can see like Spider-Gwen's face like off in the red. Yes. So it's, it's very, very, very cool. And you gotta, you gotta always have Adam Hughes on your list, especially like his top book of that character. He does the eyes so perfect. I don't like to say that all the time, but really, really cool. I mean... Black Hats is number one, and the other characters are his number two or three. So, I mean, all of them strong number twos, but I think yeah. he does Black Cat the yeah. best. So, and that, Black, her, same as her premiere issue, that's also the same solo, solo story one. So, mm -hmm. really, really cool. All right, so our number two, number two on the list. Uh, also, do not have this one, and uh, I, I thought this one was more, uh, I thought this was a little more expensive than this, but it's actually pretty affordable. So, I'm surprised we know that Princess doesn't have this book. So, maybe if anybody has it out there, Princess is looking for this one. Uh, this is Spider Gwen number one, the variant from J. Uh, J. Scott Campbell. So you know she's got the whole, you know, pulling the the hoodie across her face, looking all gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You know, does the face really well. I don't think you get like the typical J. Scott Campbell body on this one because it's more the upper body. It really gets to showcase the face a lot more. Yeah, it, it has to be like someone that's. The writer of the book is probably like, hey, I this is how I kind of want it to be as the variant. And he had to change up the style. His style is always very similar ever since he got out of the Image 90s era. Mm. It's always been very similar. Yeah. And this is a, a, Rupp's, a Rupp's comic exclusive. So it's probably a little bit harder to find. Yeah. It's going to be uh, specific to that store, Rupp. So, oh, it'd be so cool to get your hands on that book. Princess wants that. So if anyone knows about it out there, seen one lying around. So... Number one, I think, is obvious. You have to have this as the number one. So I'll let, uh, I'll let Zach, we do have the number one book. I, this is kind of twofold because it's, it's also, you know, I think her most important book as well for obvious reasons. But let Zach present the book. So this is Edge of Spider-Verse number two. I got this on a CGC 9.8, just bragging. It's the first appearance of Spider-Gwen, or as in this case, she was called Spider-Woman until much later, she's actually called Spider-Gwen. Uh, and... It's oh, yeah, it does cool. say Spider-Woman on there. Yeah, yeah, she was originally called Spider-Woman, but everybody was calling her Spider-Gwen, that eventually she's like, just call her Spider-Gwen. Just do it. Just mm -hmm. do it. And then later on, after that, for a little extra information, they called her Ghost Spider. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, she was Ghost it's Spider a for a little cool. while, and they changed it back. So what's yeah. the interesting about this cover, Zach, so people should look out for it? So there's a darker background, so this is a much darker. Uh, this actually might be the air one. It's nothing denotes it, but... The background where it's supposed to be purple is more like black. You can barely see it. So look out for that. And then there's a 1 in 25 Greg Horn one. And then there's multiple printing. Uh, there's a third printing design cover. And then there's, I think, a fourth and fifth printing with just a different label. I might have that a little bit backwards. but Oh, and there's also a... There's more. Uh, and there's more. There's also a, a Sia Um a variant that's really... I might be saying her name wrong. It's Uma. I'll show it right here. Okay. And it's actually very valuable. It's actually undervalued. You should get it. Do it now. So yeah, guys, it. keep an eye out for that darker cover. It's like, it's like Zach's pretty convinced that one is the darker cover air background, but it's hard to tell. It's hard so to tell. You can see some pictures where it's really light and some pictures where it's really dark. Once you own it, you almost have to have two of them to compare. So and unfortunately, we only have one. So it's like right yeah, it's hard to compare it to a computer, but keep an eye out for it. Maybe you have one. It's worth significantly more, right? A lot more. Yeah, a lot more. So they figure it's 
probably only a hundred. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 All right, guys. So that rounds out the uh, Spider Gwen list. Uh, yeah, really interesting to see what it was on your guys' list because we're always looking for better books and what we think are cool because obviously we're not the experts on on cool books. And we're very open to have new lists, so make sure to comment down below mm -hmm. what lists you would like to see. It. Oh, and we might just get to it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so before we get anything else, we did have a giveaway from last week. Um, this is straight out of Princess Collection. So last week on Wednesday, we did the Michael Turner Top 5, which was ended up being really awesome. I was so happy to see so many people comment on there saying how Michael Turner cuts their life. And they were like, you know, really like the artist and love the artist. You know, I don't think we were afraid it wouldn't go over too well, but I was pleasantly surprised how well it went over so uh princess is giving this book away from her collection we'll see if she's given another book away from this from this top five we'll see at the end stay till the end we'll see if she's giving away another book mm -hmm. but uh this is twofold so you have witchblade 13 signed with a coa by, by michael turner and what makes this extra special it came out of the princess's pc box so you know she's never gonna get this one again all right, so uh, the winner's going to be... You guys ready? Yep. Congratulations! Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so glad that you won. Okay, so as usual, we have a link down below so you can click on that so we can get your contact information and we can get the book shipped out to you. If you're not sure how to do that, you can email us or just message on the show. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the description, IG or Gmail. Send us a Gmail or IG. Make sure to add your address, because maybe I shipped to you before, but I forgot your, I forgot your address, guys. Make sure to add that in so we can actually send it out to you. You didn't remember everyone's addresses? No. Addresses? Addresses? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, addresses? A salad? <laughs> yeah. What's that? All uh, right. Yeah. So make really, sure really that. cool. Make sure to do that. It's a very rare signature. So yeah, don't miss out. Yeah. You don't want to miss out. Sometimes people don't claim and you got to claim to be part of the show. Mm -hmm. So all right. So let's get into some, some anger issues here. So this is something Zach bought. He didn't tell me what was in this. I know it's an eBay buy and uh, they wrote the nice like, please do not bend. But there's a comic book in here and it's got uh, a couple pieces of cardboard. So let's see. So as I was opening it, one of the things that makes me angry about this manila envelope, the bubble wraps, all of that, and they add fragile or do not bend. The problem with that is there's some people that deliver these packages that when they see something like that, they want like, oh, don't bend it, please. It's fragile. Let's see how fragile. I've talked to these people. Who does that? Uh, <laughs> well, they deny it at first. But if you get a couple beers in them, they're very open about what they do. You do you like hanging out with male people and they talk to At a bar. Oh. Anyways. Anyways, don't put like it. I worked at UPS. Put it <laughs> in a Gemini mailer or a box. A Gemini mailer or a box. Give, give it a chance to get to you. This one seemed like it got lucky. Yeah, and it's, it's, got nothing, some, it's got some strong cardboard and they taped it good, but it's still risky. If, if you spike it, it's, it's done. It's done. If you just like spike it like a football, you get across the fifty yard line. Just... Yeah, 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 and you spike it, oh. it's gonna crunch the cover. This is our oh, book. oh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so this is yeah, drunken buy. Not, uh, it's a spec, drunken spec buy. Yeah. Okay, and I remember what book this was. So uh, actually, we found this recently in a dollar bin too, and then I think we got this for like three dollars on eBay, right? So, do you happen to remember what the first appearance is? Uh, yeah, it is a first appearance. So this is. I'm gonna try. And get if you it. don't remember it, we'll just put it right here after we show it. After, oh my god, and pass me that cardboard right there. Zipper Sports Progress? Yeah. What is that? Well, you never know. What is that? It's actually, it came in really good shape, guys. It's a little bit down, but it's Avengers Forever number one. And I want to say, it's not it's not Philobel. It's something like that, though. But we'll, we'll, we'll link it down. I can't, it's, a, it's a good spec first appearance. Yeah, uh, What's absolutely. going on? It's somebody's sister. And I can't remember whose sister it is. <laughs> You're my sister. Yeah. You're my sister. No, no, no. I don't know. Yeah, we found them. We were at a comic book store too, and they had in the dollar bin unbagged and bored. I'm like, I'll take that book. Yes. They already made True Believers of that book, which is crazy. We yeah. reprints of True Believers. So that's a good sign. If you're, if you're going to make yeah. one of those uh, you know, image first of True Believers or all of the other ones, it's a I good sign it's, that it's going to be something. I think it's only like $20, $25 book, but keep an eye out for it, you guys. I think it's a good spec. It's been on a lot of people's spec radar. So every once in a while, if that pops up for under $5 on eBay, 
we scoop that up all day long. Yeah, so. just do it. Scoop it up. All right, so let's get to some cool stuff. Some really cool stuff. So, oh, is that the package that Princess Guest got? Yeah, this a this is um, Princess got this. Uh, picked this up on whatnot. So this is a lot from Anti Hero Comics. Uh, actually, a good friend of Princess's as well. Um, it, so he does have his own whatnot show. So check him out. Zach's actually gonna link his information down below so you guys can follow. I think you follow people on whatnot. That's what you do. You follow them, you know. But uh, he also does a which a group of people on Friday. They do Flexing Friday. I really like that name. I like the Flexing Friday. And I wonder where they got yeah, that. Yeah, but. Wonder. Very, very cool. And uh, so let's crack this open. She told me a little bit about what was in here. Um, I think there's some gifts, some AOKs in here, but um, it's also mainly stuff she purchased in a lot. So, and it's one of her mini collecting. It used to be when we started this channel, Princess collected like two or three things. Now I'm like, kind of collects, collects like a lot, a lot of things. So. And uh, yeah, the princess doesn't share what she gets in these lots or what. It, so it's all of a surprise like it is for all of you watching this. Yeah. So it's like she gets a lot of packages. I just the only thing like I used to like YouTube options a lot because we'd uh, kind of like watch them all together on on uh, the big TV and you kind of like you know bid on your phone. But whatnot's all like you know it's, it's so just one person doing it. You know what I mean? Like you don't really they need to figure out a way for like whatnot to have like an like an app on the TV. There you go, Gemini. See? Mm -hmm. That's how you ship it, guys. That's how you ship it. You can do it a lot shape, a safer doing that. And keynote, if you're shipping more than four books and you're trying to keep it like economical, four to 12 books, you can sh ship it with a legal flat rate envelope and the Gemini will fit just nicely in there with 12 books in there, with medium sized books. And it's eight dollars. Oh. You know, ship it for eight bucks. Eight, maybe eight fifty. All right, and that's pretty decent. Get that's, those games. Oh, 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 cool. So right here, you got get those games. So uh, we got what's up, comic games. Princess splurge on some Scotty Young books, but it's okay because I didn't forget the guys. If whatnot allowed me to ship beer, I would have thrown in an eight oh five for Zach. But you get a pretty. Uh, you I get eight. Okay, I'm not going to say he wrote down what books he put in here, so we'll open them up so he can share, but... Okay, and... Uh, and of course, Princess, the Royal Highness, you get a very special gift. Appreciate the chat. Thanks for the support, as always. Uh, there you go. Love, AK. There you go. All right, cool. And, and you're wrapped in the butcher paper. I know. That's what Zach was saying. Butcher paper. You don't even have to have tape. Mm -hmm. You just, like, have to fold it. What you do, with guys, when you fold it... Fold it on the back end of the book, and then you put the, you know, the face of the book towards the bottom part of the Gemini, and the spine on the line of the, uh, how would you say it, where the cardboard doesn't break, the cardboard doesn't like break off where the fold areas, okay. so that means the spine won't get all winky wonky, willy wonky, you know, while it's shipping. Okay. If you guys don't know, you didn't see that, did you? Okay. you guys don't see what a Gemini. If you guys don't know what a Gemini looks like, right here. See, right here, it folds right here, so it's easier to ship unfolded in a stack. And then you got to fold yourself. If you put the spine on here, you're gonna have way less spine ticks or less chance of a spine tick if you have the spine right here. This so is pretty smart. Whole episode on uh, the pack and box. It'd be, Books. yeah, I, we're learning every single day how to pack better. So it's pretty awesome. I like try not to learn that way I don't have to pack it in. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I have to do all the work. <laughs> Typical. All right. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, and that's a great way. We're getting through this. Like I said, you can just fold it, okay. put it towards the back end of the book. What do you have? The front part of it. Show the Scotties and I'll start taking off the other two. Okay. This will work. So first one, we got Weapon X program. Oh, it's Wolverine on there. Ooh. He's he's almost done with ducking like it. Looks like a ba like a baby Wolverine. Yeah, baby Wolverine. He's almost Donald Duck in it. Donald Duck in it. Except he has a helmet on, no shirt, and a belt on. So it's like almost reverse, completely. You never reverse. want Donald Duck it. We got Iron Patriot number one. Uh, oh, that's cool. Whatever. He's showing off his gun. I was like, I don't got a gun. This sucks. Well, that is really cool. That's a. I like that one. I've never seen that one before. Cool thing about some of these variants is you don't oh. even know if you have big keys. You know, sometimes you gotta like check them out later. Pictures just got this. This is a. Big book guys, actually. This is when Angela officially becomes part of the Marvel Universe. And a lot of people don't know that about that book, specifically. Yeah, that's a under, super underrated book. It's about 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's not crazy. It should be worth more. 
We got Guardians of the Galaxy number one. This is cool. They're standing on the wow. moon and Groot's acting like a dang fool. <laughs> Let Zach do all the description. Scotty Younglot, nice. We got the Ultimates number one. I think this is a key. Uh, that is, I think, yeah. Uh, it shows Galactus about to eat like the Earth. Is like, that a, isn't the Lightbringer? First Lightbringer? Uh, I thought it had something to do with Nick Fury, but I, 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 I could okay. be wrong. I have no idea for sure. I didn't might... know they did like Ultimates in uh, with Scotty Young covers. We got all new Captain America number one. I think this is also key. Very basic, mm -hmm. but kind of cool. I like it. I like it. That could be a big deal with you know the the next movie coming out, Captain America four, starring the Falcon. Yes, we got here Black Cat number one. I don't really know what to say much about this, except Black Cat's a little sadistic in this one. That one's really cool. I know, yeah, that one has some value. That's a pretty good book. That's a that's a pretty good book. Pretty good. What a oh, book. pretty good. We're just uh, one song, one song only. One song only. Sure, sure, sure. How did that even Echo. turn on? Cancel. What were you listening to while I wasn't here? When I do the dishes, I like to <laughs> listen to uh, some music. All right. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the beginning of the song. It's like the middle of the song. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Okay. All right. So here we got some nice A-OK. -okay. I'm really excited for these A-OKs. Woo. Okay. All right. Let's get into these. Okay. All right. Thanks again, Antihero. Okay. So let's see. This first one's for Zach. Oh, cool. Ooh, all right. So you got the uh, Virgin uh, Valkyrie there. I think he wrote on there what this was. Let me see. And I think it's a key too. Oh yeah. You I think a it's, pretty Valkyrie yeah. cover. I think it's a key too. I think it's a first I appearance. I really like that book. If it's Valkyrie number one, I think there's like two first appearances in that. Okay, and then for me, and someone told me I was a big Spider-Man fan, so. Ooh, oh dude. Okay, this is really cool. Seeker Wars. Number one Midtown Comics exclusive, J. Scott Campbell cover, and you got all the boys on there, and, and my boy Miles. I don't have this one. Dude, that's a really cool. It's kind of funny because it's almost like the No Way Woo! No Way Home kind of yeah. Spider-Man, except different Spider-Mans. That could work. Yeah, that could work. Pretty cool. Dude, pretty I cool. like that one pretty a lot. Dope. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And then you didn't see what was in this one, did you? This is a good one. It's a good one. This right. is a Antihero Anti hooked you up. He hooked you up. This is a good book. Oh! <laughs> what? Yeah. That's a really good book. Right yeah. There. So this is America number one. The hip hop cover, the American Chavez, and Hamilton. Uh, the Hamilton exclusive, and there, I mean the Hamilton cover. And I think there's there's two versions of that, but she doesn't have either of those. So, so he's paying attention. That was not on. Uh, she does not have that book, and she's been looking for it too. Uh, the counter for the hip hop. Is that going to happen? Hopefully, maybe if I can get like a account as of right now, maybe I can add it in real quick. Yeah, hopefully, Dude, okay. that's cool. That's really you know, yeah. Princess, look how happy she is. She's glow. Her hair turned uh, a blonde. She's so happy. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Anti Hero. Oh man, it's, it's such uh, just such an awesome community getting cool stuff like that, and uh, she's really going to enjoy the Scotty Young books. I, I love my book. I love it a lot. Yeah? Exactly. I like yeah. it too. Great All right, so we got uh, finished. We'll wrap the show up here, but I think, like I said, I think Princess was aching to give you guys another shot at a really good book. So this is really, really cool. Um, I think we even have it on the mantle too. So she had two of them, but uh, you got Spider Gwen number one. Uh, this is the uh, ASM three hundred homage. That's the special debut issue. So her very first one. Uh, this one has a little bit of value, guys. She's giving away a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. So, show that book off there. Ooh. All right. So, regular rules of pie, guys. You have to be a subscriber. You have to hit the like button. You have to leave a comment on this video. Um, doesn't really matter if you guys want to leave your top five list or you want to tell uh, Zach to drink more beer or that you like Princess's cosplay. Any one of those options or, or anything else yes. that is on your mind. Uh, you'll be entered in for this book and we will announce the winner on next Wednesday's show. All right, let's wrap this thing up. All right, guys. I uh, hope you had as much fun as we did with doing the top fives. We're loving this thing. So um, we're just going to keep the ball rolling. Top fives is, is awesome. So I think we're going to get more into artist coverage. So I'm, I'm thinking artist coverage are really fun as well. But as usual, guys, we like the show, love the show. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down. And Zach, you got anything? Yeah, sure. How you do that is... 
You have to be in a construction set or maybe you're doing your own kind of thing, right? With a nail gun and everything and you have an accident. You get a couple of nails in your head, you know, you get sent to another dimension. You're the ruler, why not? You know, some people take on your mantle, some people leave your mantle. You have probably a dozen movies at this point. Mm -hmm. Some of them really good. A lot of them really bad. It's called Hellraiser, guys. Hellraiser. Hellraiser. And I believe his name is Pinhead. That's how you become Pinhead. One of the most <laughs> powerful characters in the horror genre. What's that box you're not trying to open? I don't know isn't what that is. Isn't it Pandora's box? It's probably Pandora's yeah, like, box. Don't be opening Pandora's box. It, it could be another box. It could be any a homunculus box, a devil box. A homunculus is like a little person. A little, little person. They scare me so much. you like doll man? Oh, that guy. Freaks me all out. All right, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Until we see you next time, stay safe and remember. Get those peace games. Get them.